Hello to everyone, Denis Kozer here. In this video we will continue working on this project. If you want more interesting videos, please subscribe on my channel, write some comments and um, let's continue. After you render the image, it's very important to save all channels by this button, it's very useful, so all the render elements will be in the one folder they will look like this and uh, next we load up them in the photoshop go to file scripts load files into stack so you load them into one single click all in the one file after that let's group the masks so we can fast and easy use them Control g to group let's make it red and call it mask next we need to hide this hdri background so I just select my alpha, make it visible, use one tool, select this and um, on the render just click the create mask and here we have our background hidden. Next, uh, you maybe want to hide also this part, so you can select by this render element, maybe like wire color, select the color range, but it's very important to select this layer, so after that select color range adjust the fuzziness and then by the marquee selection tool hotkey M on the keyboard with the hotkey alt you just disable this part of image and next you can with the black brush tool on the mask hide these elements also so I need to change it make it like this as you can see I draw on the mask like this and also I don't want this white stripes so I also hide them like this and here we have this nice and clear image as you can see I adjust the HDRI map so I have these nice shadows here next we need to search some tree lines uh, I found something like this but if you need to use image like this and you want to delete this background you can load it up this file into Photoshop and here working with the select tool color range push the shift button and choose these simple colors you can also then adjust the fuzziness so here we have the selection next 
also click the mask button you can hold alt key and click here so we have some various colors from white to the black and if we take the brush make it overlay as a blending mode paint over the white color with the white color selected so you can adjust uh, these trees and uh, if you want adjust the black colors just push the X key so you paint on these black areas and then becomes hidden here as you can see the our image become transparent and I can also with the mask selected create some adjustments to make it appears as I want if in the some places you have this color not really correctly selected you can paint with the normal blending mode and uh, then, then return to the overlay and adjust some other areas like this and after you finish create new layer Control shift alt alt e to create this layer after that just drag and drop it onto your project file then adjust the size and uh, here we have the tree line like this I will use some prepared tree lines maybe like this and here we have very important thing we have the sun lighting from here and here we have the shadows and in the render we also have the sun from here and here the shadows and them must be the same so I click Ctrl T flip horizontal and now they both have the sun from here and the shadows here then adjust the size as you prefer I will make it like this maybe a little bigger so it appears like it more closer to closer to the object like this move it here also you can use crop tool to adjust the image size so you have more workspace easy to breathe some little adjustments like this I think it will be nice and now we have this nice image and we will continue in the next lesson if you have any questions please write them in the comments also subscribe on my channel you can make some offers i will really appreciate them for the next tutorials see you soon bye